With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Grammy-winning contemporary Christian artist Toby Mac's new album, Life After Death, proclaims the goodness of God amidst the most devastating of circumstances. The 15-track album released Friday. It's the first for Toby Mac since the death of his son and his oldest child, Truett, in the fall of 2019 at the age of 21. In an interview with Baptist Press, McKeon says the first music he began to create after Truett's passing simply reflected the thoughts and feelings of walking through that season of loss. The first song to come was 21 Years, a tribute to his son and an emotional song of lament expressing his grief-stricken thoughts to God. The album also features a reuniting of DC Talk members Michael Tate and Kevin Max. Jamie Dew, the president of the New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary, welcomed new and returning students during convocation. He urged them to remember that worship is an encounter with God. In a sermon from Psalm 90, Dew said, Never forget when we deal with the things of God that we deal with the Almighty, the one who created with the simple word. When we come into his presence, acknowledge him for who he is. Worship can be familiar, Dew said. He reminded listeners that being in God's presence is an extraordinary moment, but that believers often miss out due to life's distractions, pride, laziness, feelings of defeat, or even disbelief. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Reports of the Bibles being removed alongside other books from school libraries don't tell the full story. That's what the Keller Independent School District told Baptist Press. Books that have been challenged by community members as being inappropriate for schools are required to be removed from shelves and held in a parental consent area until the challenge process is complete, said the superintendent, Rick Westfall. Materials placed in the parental consent area are not off limits completely to students. The parent who challenged the appropriateness of the Bible withdrew that challenge back in December, but two other parents issued another challenge in the spring. The Bible was quickly determined to be appropriate, the district told Baptist Press. However, as a part of a recently adopted policy, the district is required to reevaluate all books that had been previously challenged. You can find the full story at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.